Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So recently I have got uh, many requests regarding the uploading of C++ videos. So from today I am going to upload the videos on C++. So a few days back I have already started the DBMS concepts. So parallelly I will upload the concepts of DBMS and the C++. So keep following and keep supporting our channel. Right. So, C++, in this session, we will see the introduction of C++. So, C++ is also a general purpose language similar to our C language. So, the base of the C++ is the C, C programming. So, if you learn or if you have a knowledge on C programming, then it would be very easy to learn this C++. And if you learn this C++ or if you know the C++, it would be very easy to have the Java programming. So because the C is completely procedural oriented language and a C++ is a combination of procedural oriented language and object oriented language. So coming to this object oriented language, so Java is also the object oriented language. So if you understood the C++, it would, it would be very easy for learning Java programming. Right. So first one, it's a general purpose programming language. Right. Next, it's an extension to C and it is a procedural and object oriented language. So it supports both the procedural oriented language as well as the object oriented language. Next, this is a case sensitive similar to our C language. So case sensitive. So case sensitive means small a is not equal to capital A. So lowercase letters and the uppercase characters will be having the individuality. So both are not equal. Right? Next. So we need a compiler to execute this C++ because here also the C++ is a high level language so we have to convert this into machine code. So this compiler will uh, convert the high level language to machine level language and then we have to execute the code. So the first step compile and run, compile and run. Next, so all the programs which are written in C++ should save with the extension .cpp. So it must have an extension, extension .cpp. So for C language, the extension is .c. Here, the extension is .cpp. Now the question is where we have to execute these programs, where we can write these programs. Similar to our C language, here also we need an editor so to write the programs. So the editor can be Turbo C, we can use the Turbo C, sorry, Turbo CPP, I mean Turbo, Com Turbo C compiler, right? Or we can also use code blocks, code blocks. So, but the important thing is the extension should be in .cpp. So, if you save the file using .c, it will not get executed. And there is a some slight difference, minor difference for uh, Turbo C, which is used in the C compiler and a CPP compiler. So, 
If you use the C compiler, we can't execute this CPP programs. But if you use this CPP compiler, you can execute both the C programs and C++ programs. Right? So one difference we can observe, so by observation, we can know whether it is a C compiler or a C++ compiler is the mouse pointer. So if it is a C compiler, the mouse pointer will not be visible. So we can't move the mouse, we can't access the mouse. And if it is a C++ compiler, the mouse movement will be visible. So we can uh, do the operations with the help of mouse by opening the file and save the file and everything. So the usage of mouse is visible in CPP compiler. Right? So in the further sessions, I will explain the code by executing the programs by using either C++, I mean the compiler, Turbo C compiler or the code blocks. Right? So we will go through the concept and in the same session, I will give the example, by I will give the explanation with executing a program. Right? Now, so this is a small introduction to C++. So major difference is this object oriented programming. Right? So C++ supports this object oriented language or programming. Right. Next, we'll see the difference, actual difference uh, between the C and C++ and we'll wind up. Now, C, C++, right. So, the first and foremost thing is, it is Procedural oriented. Procedural oriented. And here it is object oriented. It is an object oriented. So everything will be solved with the help of function driven approach. function-driven approach and here it is an object-driven approach. So everything will be treated in terms of objects and classes in a C++. And here it is a case in situ. Here also it is a case in situ. Here we need a compiler to execute the programs. Here also we need the compiler to execute the programs. And here we'll use the printf for output function and the scanf for input function. And here we'll use cout for output function c in for input function right next here the function and the data are separately returned right but here we can combine this function and data in a single block. So the function and the data can be written in single block. So that we call it as a class. Right? Next. So for allocating the memory, dynamic memory allocation, we we'll use mloc function and cloc function. So these two functions are used to allocate the memory, right? So here we'll use new operator for allocating the memory. New operator for allocating the memory. And 
here the allocated memory can be released by using the free function here the free function is used to release the memory which is allocated using mlloc or scloc and here we will use delete function the delete function or a delete statement in order to release the memory occupied by that particular object right and then so these are the few uh, differences the next one so inheritance is not supported and here the inheritance is supported just like the parent and child relationship inheritance is supported similarly overloading concept the overloading information hiding are not supported and here both are supported both are supported right next so here the variables so in c language where we have to declare the variables variables should be declared at the beginning itself at the beginning itself here the variables can be declared anywhere but before using those variables those variables should be declared so at the time of usage we can declare the variables right so this is also one major difference in uh, c over uh, c plus plus and one more thing the exception handling the exception handling that means handling the errors is not supported and here the exception handling is supported exception handling is supported so if if there is any any error occurred in the program those errors can be smoothly handled by using this exception handling concept so that is not supported in c and is supported in c++ right so the syntactically everything will be the same so we'll uh, write the program we'll save the program but here we have to use the extension .cpp and then we have to compile the program and then we have to run the program to get the correct output right so hope you understood these uh, differences between the c and c++ so in the further sessions we'll go in depth with the c++ so how these input and output statements will be executed and how the data and uh, functions can be written in a single block and how this inheritance is supported and overloading is supported and uh, this exception handling is supported right so in the further sessions we'll see with an example executing in the compiler c++ compiler or the code blocks turbo c or code blocks so we'll wind up here so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, concept uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my session share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to 
our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.